We're here in the gun range, everyone. Are we still on? We're in the gun range. Here, some of the finest here from uh, OCP shooting and stuff. It's fine. It's grand. How are you all? Are you okay? I mean, this is a this is a bit this is a bit out of order. But you, yes, you right there, you. You're a winner. You're a winner. I mean, you're not, but you're a winner. So we we just kicked the out of Ed two oh nine before, if you remember. And we wound up in the hospital. Learn where to find Aunt Lewis. This hospital looks too clean for a Robocop film. I expected this to be an absolute state. I am looking for a female officer who arrived yesterday with a gunshot wound. You need to be a little more specific, honey. Her name is Lewis. She is in a coma. Ah, oh, second floor. Take the elevator. Second floor elevator. Uh, my wife. She was with me when they started shooting. I'm sorry. She did. No. No. You pick the heart. Hold the last. Is that? Is that, is, it, is that the same character model for the main guy? Am I going mental? Is that the same character model? Take the stairs. I will do, but I just want to... This is, this is for me, because you know I've got a dicky heart. Can I get myself one of these? You pick the heart. This is a very calm waiting room. You'd expect this to be, like, kicking off. Can you take the stairs? Are there stairs? Oh, look at this. Wait a minute, where did I see her before? I feel like I've met her before as well. Was she in the arcade? Stop. Do you lose sleep thinking about those crippling hospital fees? Okay, well, let's get the elevator anyway. For that heart transplant that you desperately need, don't worry. There's always money to be found in you. Okay. Mart, organ selling made easy. Come for a checkup today and leave with a personalized. Sir, you're not allowed in there. That's the VIP section of the hospital. VIP. In there, and we're all cramped up in this little space. Sir, please calm down. Little bit. So they've not even got rooms. This is disgraceful. How do I get to that room? Lewis. I hope she's in a decent room. I'll be annoyed if she's not. No, oh, we should call hey, guard. Murphy. She's right in here. Right in here, Murphy. Another visitor? She's in a stable condition. You know, some think that people in her state can hear what's happening around them, even if they don't respond. Why don't you try talking to her? Is she no, being kinky there? Is she trying to tell me, like, you know, you can get away with doing what you want here? Because I'm not that kind of uh, cop. Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Allow me to update you on our case. I know you would hate to be behind on the investigation. I found Officer Briggs. He is dead. Wendell Antonowski has in a, in a freezer. He's collecting bodies. His intent is not clear. He wants to flood the streets of Nuke. I opened your present. It helped. Thank you. What did she what did she buy? Your advice, Lewis. I mean, I'm immediately thinking of you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it. I might I might show it later when it's after hours. It was something I sort of saw today on Reddit and it was like, oh, slightly dangerous this. Didn't you hear someone stole a bunch of bodies over the weekend? A corpse What is this world coming to? 
You always find a way. So this body's missing. Oh, well, they've gone. I'll keep her safe. Don't you worry about her. Thank you. Like you'd think he'd be getting maybe he's been around that long now that no one finds him interesting to look at, but he's basically Superman, isn't he? Is this a oh, is this a job? You wouldn't answer and I was dying to tell you that policeman was here again. He left chocolates for her and asked me not to tell anyone it was from him. It's so cute. Looking forward to seeing if those little advances are reciprocated. That is when the poor policewoman wakes up from her coma. The guy seems nice, except for that awful haircut. Wait, hang on a second. Okay, you wouldn't answer and I was dying to tell you that policeman was here again. He left chocolates for her and asked me not to tell anyone it was from him. So is someone visiting Lewis on the QT? Okay, what floor? Basement. I didn't think about that. What's her blood pressure? Oh. Got 40 power. Flashbacks. Of course, VFAB. Okay, we gotta shock him. Let's get the Ambu back. Stand clear. Shock him. Clear. All right. No pulse. Let's go intracardiac epinephrine. Okay, everybody. Clear. That's when he stuck the big needle in his heart. Stand clear. All right. I think that's all we can do. Let's time of death. What's the time? 6.15. I, I, it just occurred to me then that you don't really think about that when you go to a hospital, that there'll be the basement where the bodies are taken. Because you don't normally see... You go to the hospital, you don't see a dead person just lying there, but it must happen. When I had my heart thing last year, I remember at the time waking up in the hospital and I was fine. Like, I, I was fine. I went to, I went to sleep. The, the you know gave me all the drugs and stuff woke up in the morning fit as a fiddle obviously but i remember just looking around and there were some really old people in there and i'm thinking you haven't got long now and this is how it ends for you you know you don't appreciate it until you're at the end and you see the end coming you know you have a dice with death and it makes you look at things differently which is why right now i'm living my best life here on twitch and youtube and kick and Twitter, or X, sorry, drink, drinking caffeinated drinks till one o'clock in the morning. Wow, they're, they're but for the grace of God. Let's continue. Robocop, what a surprise. <laughs> I'm guessing you're here about the missing bodies? No one from the police has come to talk to us yet. I suppose you are preoccupied with the living rather than the dead. Tell me about the case. Usually, we're pretty packed. There are even some bodies that have been here since Christmas. But a couple of nights ago, someone broke into the hospital and stole 30 How do you steal 30 and not get caught? in disguise, really. We've got so many unclaimed bodies that I feel like I'm starting to form relationships with them. Is there any link between the bodies? Actually, there is. Our thieves were very picky. All of the corpses had their brains intact. They didn't take a single corpse that had documented not, brain not, trauma. Don't watch me, then. I gotta say, they were very thorough. Anything else? That's it for me, but talk to the security guard in the lobby. He should know more. Security guard in the lobby probably knows. On you? I recognize that jawline. Okay, so we'll have to see the security guard. I don't think there's anything in here that I should really be looking at. We're doing the cop investigation bit now. Finally! I've been calling you guys for the past two days. Have you? What's the problem? 
Well, clap, but clap, beard. Disappearance at the morgue. Not a tash, I mean. Sure, sure, I know I'm just a security guard, but I know how you operate. I've seen the shows, so let me break it down for you the way you'd understand. I estimate the incident occurred at around 300 hours. Multiple perps entered the GMH from the east and then proceeded to the BLE. Then most likely used the EFS to get down to the MORGUE. What can you tell me about the perps? We caught there later. You caught him? Where is he? Oh, I mean on camera. Uh, there it is. Caucasian male, late 40s, dapper dresser, if I can say so myself. That was very helpful. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, we need to check the tape. Just because I don't have a badge or a service weapon or a cruiser and partner or even a bulletproof vest, that doesn't That's mean in there. I can't be of help to the police. Okay, leave the hospital. So we've come in, we found out that 30 bodies have been stolen. Yes, I didn't, oh, so there must be some missions in here that I didn't start. Not really bothered about them. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Good to see you in one piece, Robo. Mr. Becker wasn't happy when he heard about your little trip to Highland Park. But between you and me, what you did was quite impressive. I know. Maybe it wasn't an authorized mission, but it can still give us an idea of how your systems are holding up. I so, need to get some more upgrades. I wonder if there's any missions I can go back to. See all these little things? I've not picked up any of these secondary objectives. Intoxicated hostage saved. I don't even remember meeting him. I missed the I missed the load there. Left a lot of money on the table. Thank you for your cooperation. What's all the commotion? Right, so I want to go to. I mean, do I just bring this all the way up to the top now? I've kind of like set myself off this. Like, yeah, just bring it up. You can find more stuff that way. Unfortunately, there's no going back once you go forward. That's Oh, is it coming an update later, is it? Right, okay. I mean, you can jump back and do them again, but then you lose your progress, don't you? That's a shame. Well, you know what? The it seems to be a game. Like I joined their Discord and I had a bit of a look around and it was like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here that they're trying to do to the game to keep it going. You all know the procedure by now. Officer Cecil will gather Briggs' belongings and deliver them to the family. They asked for a small funeral, so I expect everyone to give the family space. Briggs was one of us. We should at least do something. He looks like Briggs. Best thing we can do is get those butchers that did this to him. I want to see everyone in the briefing room in 10 minutes. Now back to work. Why, why not just do it now? Hey, Murphy. Hey, uh, Plunger. Hospital, haven't you? How's Damn it, the internet fucked. I miss you. But stable. <sighs> She'll pull through. I'm we, sure. we, we didn't, we didn't do particularly well. This can't I'm not focused enough. Relax, Kaplan. He's not wrong. How many more of us have to end up in the hospital or a morgue before we do something? It's like Sarge said, we need to get the guy who did it. So maybe let's focus on that. Speaking of which, there's someone who might know something. There's a guy in the jail that wants to talk to you, Robo. I've noticed that when anyone's doing anything, it's me doing it. Like the royal way. It's, it's the royal, it's the royal way. I'm doing it. They're all just liter literally doing that. Arms crossed. Bloody millennials. Oh, there's another. I, I, thought, I, I thought I used my skill. Or did I have oh did I have more than one? Okay, well let's get this up to the top. Activate it. That's it. Use that one. B. And we're gonna. Wait a minute. Yes. Exit. Yeah, I'm not used to these Xbox buttons yet. Is that kid dead yet? No, the kid's disappeared. Whatever wherever he's up to. See you later in the briefing room. I mean, the kid's probably safer in here than he would be in the Catholic Church. 
yeah, can't say stuff like that. Can't say stuff like that. It's a, P it's a PG stream. It's a PG stream. He was a little annoying, little. Yeah, that's that's gonna get me. Uh, that's gonna get me banned. That's... No, no, we keep everything in. We keep it raw here in the Flashcade. Keep it all raw. Dan, why am I always the one that has to do it? It's not fair. Because you do f all else. You literally do nothing else. Computers were broken and I fixed them. Look, you're suffering from some form of PTSD. I won't worry about it too much. It'll all be okay. We all die in the end. None of us can outrun death. It's all coming for us. If you think about how long the universe has existed for, how long the Earth has existed for, how long we as a species have evolved on this planet, we've been here for a cough. We've been here for a hiccup. Don't worry about it. We'll all be forgotten about. We won't even be thought of. The, the insects will outlive us. Yeah, he'll be the loneliest guy in the world, though, Robo. Reminds me of an old Hulk comic. And I think it's like set at the end of uh, basically set at the end of everything uh, humanity everyone has died out and because of the gamma uh, in the Hulk he just can't die and there's been some like little probe been sent down to keep an eye on him and every time he uh, uh, he just he just stays the Hulk at the whole time and because he's the Hulk he doesn't get old but inside when he I think he does occasionally revert back to Banner and Banner's like a frail old man but he can't die anytime he's close to death a heart attack or anything like that Hulk just comes out again at least he won't be told what to do anymore do you realize how short life is like really when you think about it it is not long at all It is, it is dark, but it's but it, back, Robo. You have a minute? Oh God! First of all, I wanted to say I'm sorry. That it's I the little shit. At that steel mill. I already filed a report on the incident to Mr. Becker. You did hesitate. Oh, right. As I was writing it, I noticed a lot of opportunities to better myself. But considering that was our first mission together, it wasn't all bad, right? First mission together. Let's give him. Let's give him an honest appraisal. So if you weren't catching the stream at the time, this little I went to investigate something. I had like every piece of evidence in the world. And this guy who just talked himself into a job, he hadn't been there for five minutes, was telling me, telling me what to do in the mission together. He was there going, oh, I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's a big deal. Oh, I wouldn't go investigate that. Oh, no, I wouldn't say anything about that until I was surrounded by bodies. And then he's like, mm -mm, yeah, there might be something in this. Little scrow. Why has he been assigned to me, Robocop? Like, like, like the most valuable asset that OCP have in the police department is this seven foot robot killing everyone, and some little pipsqueak talks himself into a job. I can't wait for this kid to die. I can't wait for this quit to die. clip clip that. Stick it on you. Stick stick it everywhere. I can't wait for this kid to die. And someone then will take the audio and stick it over some hostage situation somewhere. And they'll be like, I'm, I'm going to kill this kid. And it'll be my voice popping in. I can't wait for this kid to die. Years of work experience, kid. Anyway, um, he's preview yourself training. No, he's training. Get out. Uh, plenty of places to improve. That's actually something I wanted to ask you about. Nope. No, no. Know different aspects of being a cop, and there's one thing that I keep underperforming at: shooting. Would you mind showing me how you practice at the range? Right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna do let's this because I could do with some points. Perfect. Let us not waste any more time. I need some extra XP points. <laughs> yeah, great. Let's go. This kid will blow his own head off if there's any justice. There's my favorite law enforcement officer. I'll get to you in a minute. I'm going to go and do this gun range bollocks. I'll be back in a minute. It won't take long. I love the smell of this room. Should we start? First, I want to watch you practice. Okay. Why to track it said then? Can, 
Can I oh, but my aim is a little bit off today. I can't help myself. That was awesome. Shut up! This has to be some sort of record. It's not. Oh, bollocks, that one got past. That was bullshit. So many notes. Next time, do it quietly. Eliminate distractions. Being over eager is. Yeah, I would have done perfect on that if you weren't so still yabbering away. Lesson. Now I get it. Shoot him and if file it as a malfunction. Properly prepared. I was issued this old gun and serviced it according to the manual. I will try it out. What's Should he got? What's he been given? I hope it's a pea shooter. Go. Like a little Beretta. Wait a minute, what's... Oh, so it's not that small a gun. Jesus! Huh. Is everything okay? Shut up, you little... I mean, I got the 15 points, but barely. The service weapon is broken. Yes, it's a bit. I did everything the manual said. It is beyond repair. They must have issued it to you by mistake. No, they don't want to give a huh. gun to a kid. I don't think that's entirely true. Other cops give me a hard time because Mr. Becker hired me to monitor you. But I guess that's the way it has to be. Yeah, because no one likes the grass. No sulking in uniform, you little no shit. No sulking in uniform. You are a cop. And a cop gets things done. Okay, I'll get another service weapon. God, he appreciated Thank that. You, Robo. I was really hoping that was going to be a negative response. Anyway, go on. Get yourself killed. Uh, where's the... It's this way, isn't it? Okay, let's find out what's going on. Why are you in this cell? I come here to think sometimes, and the food is better than in the soup kitchen. Um, I want this guy to be on my side. Very resourceful. Resourceful. Why, thank you. No, no worry, Plunger. I'm here help. to help. But seriously, I was hoping to see you. I heard what happened to Briggs. After everything he did for me, I'll do whatever I can to help you catch that Wendell guy. He's got a lot of face fuzz. Pitting people against each other. It's Maybe on a proper beard. His dissatisfied customers who be willing to talk to me. It could be dangerous. You kidding? On the streets, I'm a samurai. Well, with Briggs dead, it probably makes me more of a. You are not a Ronin. Yeah. You are not a Tanaka. Just remember. If you need anything, I'm your guy. Okay, go to the briefing. Oh, yeah, he said briefing room in 10. Is Cecil still up here crying? Is he... Where was, where was Cecil? Oh, he's in here, isn't he? Let, let, let's, 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 let's give Cecil a bit of a pep talk. Come on, Cecil. What is it, officer? Huh? Uh, oh, I, I, I didn't realize I was talking out loud. It's. That's why you'll never get a girlfriend. Briggs' picture on the memorial wall. Just pokes it's his just eyeball out. A lot. Hey, would you be so kind and help me? All you have to do is find Briggs' photo in the database and print it out. Easy. Just no problem. Be sure to hang it straight. Otherwise, I won't hear the end of it from Sarge. Hold on a minute. I'll find the photo, but you can hang it up, you little shit. Uh, oh, that's the briefing room. We're going to do the side mission. Which is... Hold on a minute. Is he back? Oh, is he back this way? Uh, and there's the computer room in the basement. No, that's the gun range again. We just, we just did that. It must be up here. Uh, yeah. This is my room. 
I love this. This is like all set up for me. Look at the state of this. I destroyed this. Take the PCB. Oh, nice. Right, so do I even have anything to put into... Oh, there we go. Auto 9. So we... I've just... I've noticed there's no music at the moment. Is that just me? Have I, have I got music off? We had music on the other day, didn't we? Let me just check something. Just feels a bit quiet. No? Music's all on. I've got it on stream. What is streamer mode on this? I'm assuming it's music that won't get me in trouble. I wonder if they've got like really decent licensed music and I'm missing it because I'm streaming it for you lot. You ungrateful little... Sorry. Sorry, the, the, the intrusive thoughts win. Biker's Trail. Oh, in memory of Officer Brixie. There we go. I knew it was somewhere, so it's down this way. That's not a room, is it? Must be down here. Can't be in the can't be in the briefing room. What's that? Michael Briggs, age forty two. <laughs> forty two years old. What an old Physical examination, severe dehydration and exhaustion, broken rib cage, superficial stab wounds, bruising, suggesting torture, projectile wounds have damaged the internal organs. Multiple shots to the chest from point blank range. Manner of death, homicidal. There you go. Don't say anything about arteries clogging up or or a, a decadent lifestyle, which is good to know. I oh, will sort out Briggs later. Oh no, I'm gonna have to, I want to want to do this one then. Oi! What are you saying oi for? Have I said something? Have I said something to upset you? Um, does that... Oh, 21 meters. Is that, does that mean below? Do I have to go downstairs? I have to go downstairs, don't I? I thought the database was ground floor. No, we've, do, we've, we've done this bit. Is it down at the back? Oh, here we go. Database. Right, I'll remember that for next time. You're 42! Cal. God, I can't even imagine being your age. I can't even imagine it. That's so far ahead in my future past. So far ahead in my future, I can't even begin to, uh, to think about it. You get to a certain point with age where no no one actually, people won't ask you because they'll kind of feel uncomfortable. They're kind of going, right, I'm, am I going to guess this person's age now? And say, oh, oh you, 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 look, you look like you're in your, your 50s. I'm not in my 50s, by the way. You look like you're in the 50s. And you're kind of going, oh, no, you don't say, you don't, you don't say that to someone. So what you start doing instead is you start looking at them and you start judging. You look at them and you kind of go, right, well, he looks like he's, he should be 40, but he dresses like he's still in his 20s. He still thinks he's cool. He's still trying to, you know, he's still trying to pull something off. And here's the kicker. You think you're pulling something off. You're not. The, the person who could pull it off, that version of you, was way in the past. That, that version of you could pull off the, the clothes that you wear. Why do you think I dress in black? I can't pull off what in my head I want to wear because it's just not going to happen. It's just, just like, leave it. Leave it. It's like that sunscreen's gong when he, when he say, you, um, you'll, ne you'll never 
look as good as you did when at the time you thought you looked bad. But trust me on this. Just all of that stuff with women can pull it off. Like a, like a, a woman can pull it off. A woman can wear a, a, a piece a, a t-shirt or something like that. Speaking of women, ladies and gentlemen, Tak has entered the stream. Hello, Tak. How are you? Welcome back. It's my third stream back. You, you've turned up late, but I appreciate you turning up. I hope you're well, young lady. I hope the cats are okay. And everything like that. I was just going to say, we were talking about being a certain age and being able to pull off certain things. You get to a point. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to take a guess for, for the men. I'm going to take a guess that when you hit 33, 34, it's time to just like 33, 34, the teenage years have gone. They're, they're gone now. Even even when you were hitting 29, people you work with and stuff like that, they won't say anything, but they were judging you. You're going, what are you wearing? And you'd be there thinking, I've pulled this off. And it's like, no, you will not look like Brad Pitt in Fight Club. You can have a funky hair, nice glasses, jacket, all that. You're not going to pull it off. You're there going, what does this 50-odd-year-old guy look like? There was a guy I used to work with, and what he did, he had, um, he, was a, he was a scouser. Don't hold it against him. And he, he he went around in a, 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 a he came to work sometimes in a motorbike, and he had this motorbike. But when he came in the motorbike, he had like the full leather suit. Like for the guy thought he was Street Hawk. If you've ever seen that, he thought he was Street Hawk, and it, it was like okay. The the problem is, and and from the front you from the front he looked great. From the front, he was like, yep, I look like Street Hawk here. He's flying around on the bike, no problem. Okay, well, two things. One, you're not in California. You're in Scouse land. You're, you know, you're from there. You're, you're, you know, you're in the north of it. You're in the north of England. And, um, and you come into the well, and when you walk down the corridor and you see yourself in a mirror or some reflection, you probably look like you're okay. But when you rotate yourself 90 degrees, because that's what you should really do, look 90. And even from there, even from that angle, it doesn't really show your girth. Like you, you, his big belly sticking out and all of that stuff. The fact that you had to put talcum powder to pull these leather trousers on to get all this suit on. It, it, it was just, it's just a bad look. Just, just, what I'm saying is, move on. Move on from childish things. Move on from sell these things. Uh, I saw you streaming with the only guy a chance to join until now. Well, that, that is, is the fact that you're here, Tack, means all means all the world to me. I went to dinner with my girlfriend and her friend from work asked if I was her dad. Jesus, we're one year apart. Oh, that's 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 harsh. Now, now was that malicious? Or, or delicious like the dinner <laughs> no was that was that malicious i mean are you you are still with your girlfriend i mean that wasn't the straw that broke the camel's back and then your girlfriend went you know internal monologuing going do people think i'm out with my dad unless of course she's into that kind of thing certain certain women are karen you like you like the older men don't you I mean, it's usually she, for money and stuff. She, she's like the original. She, she saw Anna Nicole Smith, you know, the naked gun woman who the blonde hair and the you know, all the rest of it. And she married that old fella and took all of his money. And she's like, she saw that and went, that's for me. I'm doing that. Too young for the reference. Are you talking about Street Hawk? Shut up. I briefly saw a guy who was 18 younger than me. Guess people thought I was his mom. Now, how was it, Tack? And you know what I'm talking about. How, how, how did that go? How, how did that go? I dated someone once. Should I say it? I dated someone once. And I, 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 I was, I was at one point into the older woman. As a lot of guys are. They won't say it, but a lot of guys kind of like... The one's right in the head. If you, if you, if, you know, there's an age limit, up or down, that you should do. You know, you know, obviously, if they're walking around with a Zimmer, no, no thanks, they'll break a hip. 
but I was into the slightly older woman and I took her out with me and my mum and dad happened to go to this bar and we were all at the same time and my mum was not happy and it was only when I did the maths afterwards that this woman I took out was only about five years younger than my mum and uh, I soon I soon left that city don't live there anymore now I live out here in which is uh, which is lovely in which age age is just a number age is just the number just get old and die is what you're saying no no enjoy it that's what i'm saying but i'm just saying the inevitability of it is coming and it gets to a certain point where all the airs and graces all the things that you're doing you, you stop doing them like you're fine you, you, you know you'll before you know it you're out taking your kids to school wearing nothing but your dressing gown again we're doing scouse references again please don't cancel me but that that's that's it that gets us i like when i was younger i go i was there thinking well, imagine not having the self-respect to put your clothes on to bring your kids to school but now i see them and i'm thinking to myself yeah fair point he was always good to go tack tack if it tack if it helps at all i still am i the my libido it's not moved it's it's been in the same place the entire time I'm not hitting on you. I'm not hitting on you. This is not me hitting on my viewers. But I'm just saying, I spent two years with someone 10 years older than me, not a fan of older men. What was the straw that broke the camel's back there, Tack? Like, did the hip go out? Libido hasn't moved, just the wound. Yes, the moving wound. Tack, you won't realize this at the moment. I've got, I've got what's called uh, a, a moving wound. As I'm sat here in this chair, I am right now in an extraordinary amount of pain. I had to take a load of codeine, paracetamol, and ibuprofen, and a shot of Jack Daniels just to do this stream. That's that's what I, that's, that's what you mean to me. That's what you need mean to me, you guys. I'm here for you. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays from 9 p.m. Libido hasn't moved just the wound. It stays on in the arcade. What stays on the arcade? Sorry. Uh, no, in the end, I decided I couldn't cope with taking on his... Yeah, so well, fair enough. It was his baggage, not his age. So it's just the... The thing is, you get to a certain point and... The, the, you know, you get to a certain point and no, my, my, my mate's doing this now. My mate, who's, he's like, he's he's on the... He's on the... Ten, he pays... Sorry, he pays for Match.com. You have been seen happier since the drugs. Yeah, to be fair. Um, I was in, probably for the month before I stopped streaming, I was in a lot of pain every day and I just kind of grinned and bared it until I until my body just said enough. Anyway, should we play the game again now? We've, we've all decided, we've all discussed it now. If you're of a certain age, don't be dressing like a child. And that's for the men. Women, you can get away with that for, for reasons that aren't fair, but that's life. And, and and younger is preferable over older. Unless unless like, you know, you're eighteen or something like that, and she's like maybe thirty and, and filthy rich and she's looking at you as your bit a bit of a bit of a toy and, and then go for your life. Live that dream. I, I lived that dream. I lived it and I loved it. I don't know I don't know if you're joking now or got money. I'm not I'm not I'm not sorry, I'm not joking. I'm not joking, I, and I, I do have money. I mean, that's that's not a, that's not a flex. I mean, I've got how much have we got in the account? Twenty quid. We've got twenty quid. I can get a McDonald's like that, no problem. This this goes too far, doesn't it? I said to myself the other day, I said I'm going to put that back here, cut that back here. Look at that subliminal message in there. I didn't mean to do that. I was just there thinking about this long bar, and then obviously the word sex came up. Long bar sex. Free hole! Free hole with the, the tear fucking lights. Thank you very much there, free hole with the uh the uh, the, 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 the gifted sub and another gifted sub. Gems! You've been kicked into second place. Look at that. Beautiful. Come on in. Everyone's welcome. We're, we're now only one sub away from our goal. I'm cut off there. 
One sub away from our goal. It's, it's within it's within reach. It's within reach. This, by the way, uh, if anyone, if you are a stream and you're doing this, I've got the Elgato teleprompter thing and I've got the chat right in front of me and it's bloody brilliant. I'm literally just looking at it now and this is excellent. I can look you in the eyes, you know, the ones of you that are dodgy. I can look you in the eyes and chat to you. I love it. You have a whale on the channel. Are you, are you, are you, are you rich for you? Are you rich? Are you rich for you? Maybe Friol, you know what? Now, I I used to be good on the old Ableton. I've got a distinction in music. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to make it too big a thing, but I don't have the time. I might have to commission you to make some, like, theme tune for the stream. Like something... Uh, something uh, I'm, I'm making, making you video just for that. Something with a bit of... Uh, uh. Got 21 quid in the bank. Karen the other day, one of my one of my nieces. Karen the other day goes right. It's uh, it's your niece's twenty first shortly. And that's my niece, by the way. My sister's way older than me because we, we 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 know that I'm a young virile man. Um, and she um uh, she says to me like, um, okay, so so what are we gonna give her? And I'm like going. I remember back in the day when I turned twenty one. It was literally twenty one pounds in a card. There you go, twenty one pounds. That was the that was the thing. Twenty one pounds. Nowadays, you've all got fucking ideas. Like she, this, this niece of mine. Um, what was it? Not, not this Christmas. The one before that. She sent us a PowerPoint presentation of all of the things that she wanted. What are the kids doing? Like a PowerPoint presentation. All I had to do was like flick through Argos and circle a couple of things that I won't mind that. And I didn't even get them. I remember one year I wanted a fucking Optimus Prime. I ordered Optimus Prime and I didn't. I got some bargain basement one. It was massive, but it just had like two arms that came out and the legs that folded down and it was motorized and you had to buy batteries. Sorry, I'm I'm all over the place here now. But it's traumatic experiences. S STD. I mean, not STD. PTSD. PST PTSD, yeah. 21 quid was 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 wasn't a lot five or six years ago. I'd say my account once does that count. God, are we are we all now doing the? Uh, we will get back to the game. If we're all going to do like you know uh, stories of of our lowest, I'll tell you my lowest right now. I, I was I was I was happy in my mind, but financially this is my lowest. I went out selling aerial photos. No one gives a shit now because everyone's got drones. But back in the day, plane flew over, took aerial photos. You took them door to door to try and sell them to people. Sometimes in a council estate area where you're going, these people don't want a aerial photo of their council estate, but you know that's what that's what the guy told us to go and do. And you only made money if you made a sale. You didn't make a sale, you, you got fucking nothing. I remember one day going out, didn't make anything. I had no money, and the only thing I ate that day was a, a handful of. Um, they weren't even frosties. They were just plain old Kellogg's cornflakes without milk, without milk. That was my lowest. That was my lowest there. Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it is. Did anyone else have, you know, you go to some person's house and then have a picture of their house in their hallway for some reason. I don't know why. I didn't get it either. Right, what am I looking for? Um, there's an advert starting now in a minute. So, you know, you're missing out on nothing. You're missing nothing. Okay, have I? Oh, okay, I thought for a second I broke the game. Um, okay, let's go back out of this. Print Greg's photo, X. Okay, so we're going to... Um, database. Should have done spot the ball. I didn't realise you spot the ball. Like spot the ball was was pools and all that stuff, wasn't it? And I just remember like thinking, okay, the ball's obviously there, but some people would go like mental with all of the crosses, and they somehow without computers involved, it's like yeah, this this one got it right. It's like bollocks. I think sometimes they just made up where the ball was. It's like you'd think the guy because his eyes are looking straight at the ball, or he's doing this. 
because he's about to give it a header, but the ball's over there somewhere. Bollocks. Uh, Officer Briggs. There we go. Uh, a print. I mean, look, Cecil didn't even want this to be done. Okay, have we done it? Okay, have I done the job? Do I have to now find the printer? I just have to go to the, have to go to the print now. Ball wasn't even the, the, the ball was just made up. You'd assume it was in one place, but it never was. Okay, uh, okay, where's the printer? There's a printer. Little dot matrix one, but it's not there seemingly. I'm assuming I have to go find it in memory. Okay, so oh, there it is. Looking printer, say. Looking good, looking man. Not anymore. <laughs> He ain't looking good anymore. Um, do I have to go somewhere else now? There it is. Uh, 20 meters that way, so he's probably he's upstairs again. Remember doing it with a pen, then they changed the game with a stamp with crosses. Yeah, yes, I remember that. I remember that. Okay, not doing that. Where is he? Let's run. Where, 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 where? Is he over here? Oh, here he is. Here you go. This Cecil's... I've literally got the photo. Detroit Police Department for the best Robocop ever Robocop. I win that one. Look at that. Best trophy. Oh, do I have to put it up here? Oh, there we go. How depressing is that? Thanks, Murphy. I still need to go get his stuff. So, you know, I'm going to take care of the desk, but could you get his... Jesus Christ, on? man. Is it not enough that I've went and got you the bloody the thing already? Now I've got to go and get a box. Where's his locker? He's got nothing. Baseball. Never understood baseball. I mean, I understand it. Just don't see the appeal of it. What's that? Oh, he's got a kid. You ain't seen daddy again. All that money spent on Robo and they get him printing dead people. They do. Right. Where is he? Oh, he's over there again. You can put everything in the box. I'll make sure his family gets it. You've got a bad attitude, Cecil. This is why this is why no one cares for you. You know, I usually do all of this alone, and it doesn't get any easier no matter how many times I do it. But having you share this responsibility with me, it actually helped. Thank you, Murphy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Are we done? Objective completed. What do I get for that? I bet I get a thousand points. Okay, where? Briefing room, briefing room. Let's get to the briefing room. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this game. Find out what's going on. Yes. Let's get on with it. Thanks to Robocop's insubordination, we finally have something concrete. Don't be giving the attitude. Wendell Antonowski struck a deal with the street vultures at Highland Park. A place where, for some reason, we weren't supposed to go. Be that as it may, we're on the lookout for anyone... Sergeant Reed's seen a lot of shit, hasn't he? We also Look at those eyes. Look at those bags. Yeah. Dead bodies. Dead bodies whose brains are still intact, to be precise. Wow. That's even more messed up. Why would he need them? We'll get to the wise, but for now, we need to focus on catching Spike. He's our connection to Wendell Antonowski. Since they know we're onto them, I'm expecting them to be in hiding. So, oh. they're not hiding. Put on Channel 9. Channel 9. What in the hell? I buy that for a dollar. 
I repeat, OCP Bank is being robbed by the notorious street vultures. We'll keep trying to get closer for a better view. I love that the chief of police is getting the news. They're finding out about like big things like this from the TV station. Show them being killed. Go on, show them being shot. Come on, make 18. Oh, God damn it. All right, everyone pack up. I want you all to be at SWAT's disposal. Sergeant, am I back on the case? I don't think Becker will give me grief if I let you go save OCP's money. You're reinstated. Everyone, move out. Just, just stay behind, Robo. You're pretty safe. I'm just, I'm beginning to wonder now. Okay, what did he need all of these brains for? And the only thing I can imagine is just like an army of Robo cops. Like, not actual Robocop, but like uh, robots with the brains inside of them. Something like that. Found out everything on the TV. Here we go. Oh, that's a fight. Three of them? Oh, look at that. One of the cops was actually bothered to show up. No need. SWAT's got it covered. What is the situation? Vultures came up with the great idea of robbing the OCP bank. They've got hostages, and they claim there's a bomb. I am. Um... must be crazy to think that OCP will just let them leave with their money. Was there any sighting of Spike? Not yet. Spike's the one that looks sure like Keith Flint. Pull such a Keith stunt Flint. Their leader. What is the plan? Let me make this clear. It's SWAT's plan. You're no part of it. Until I need to be a new plan. I am changing the plan. Oh, there's the reporter sneaking it. Look at that. I mean, eagle eyed. The, the rest of them are just ignoring her. She's just walked in. I want her to be killed. I want there to be consequences for people that do stupid things. With this buggy brain of yours, you think you still remember how to put the heat on them scumbags? I prefer to serve justice cold. His lips aren't even moving now. They, they haven't even, they're not even bothered. How you doing pandas see that's what you want everyone you want your own walking sound so i know it's you before you know it's you look at that 23 to me ocp 11 cowards oh here we go not completed this yet i've already made a thumbnail for the next stream that's how much confidence I have that I'm going to complete this. Remember, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Okay, am I? I don't take my kills. Oh, this shithead. So far, so good. You should be heading towards the ball. It's through the office area. What's going on there? You put down your weapons. I need one of these. Shit, am I dead? Am 
Oh, they're easily taking me. There's three of them and there's one of me. Who, who's that? Who's he shooting at? You now have this. There's an armored gate in lockdown mode in front of you. Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and breach through that. I don't like his voice. Fell down the stairs. Yeah. Okay, where am I going? Am I going the wrong direction? I'm going the wrong direction. Why, why don't you tell me? I got them. How the hell are OCP now getting more than me? This is bullshit. He's, he's very slow reloading. Have I got no energy? I've got no energy. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Sorry. That's that's me. Uh, that's me running in too quickly. Karen's never been. Oh, what? Okay, this is what happens when you you pick. Oh, bollocks. Right. Right. I don't care about whether I get most of the thing. We're just gonna have to. You have to be careful here now. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be efficient here, literally. Twenty eight percent health. Got to keep an eye on that. I'm still doing it. I'm still rushing in. I do want to do better than them, but I've got to be, uh, I've got to be careful. Right, fuck it, I don't care now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got enough weaponry and stuff. Robocop, open the gate for the N209 units. We'll secure the area. Okay, let me just make sure there's no things I can get from here. No bits of energy. You've made all of this. It'd be a shame for there to not be anything here for me. What gun have I got? Mm, well, it's got no bullets anyway. The shotgun is good, but it just hasn't got a, a good enough uh, range. This gun is slow to reload, which is the problem. Okay, let's see what's in here before I go running. Anything? I'm going to let the Ed 209 see what they want. I don't think it's really important. If I have the highest score... It's, it's about the greater good. It's about the greater good. Stop stealing my kills! Stealing my kills, bro. They've took down one already. 
I've changed. Not really. You should be heading towards the ball. It's through the office area. Don't know why I'm shocked again. Please put down your fire, put down your weapon. Please put down your weapon. See, it's a very slow weapon. I'm going to turn you to this. Where did he go? What did he get? Mm. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Yeah, I'm way behind this time, but that's fine. It's not important. Right, he's got his laser sight ready, focused. I don't know why he keeps on saying 15 seconds. It doesn't really seem to matter. Uh, I'm going to take the shotgun. I know I said I wasn't, but I feel like I'm the Terminator when I've got a shotgun. I am leaving a lot on the table here. Uh, hold on. Oh, so you can't just get infinite ammo from all these other ones. Okay, we'll stay with the shotgun. There's an armored gate in lockdown mode in front of you. Find a way to get past it. Try finding the weakest spot in the wall around the gate and bridge through that. Okay, I got a bit of cash. Anything else? Anything else here? No. Oh shit, I shouldn't really have had this here. Everything's slow motion with a shotgun. It's stupid. You can't see that 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 feels that feels silly that. Because he's so slow shooting get. We go in here. I need the toilet. Be back in a minute. Okay, see, this is what happened before I ran past this. Got to think about these things, guys. I hit him. Ah. Robocop's going, listen, I'm just going to hang back. You you all take the big... Sh I am going to take this gun. Well, they are ahead of me. Am I walking through glass? Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. appeared to be reach the manager's office here we go Robocop I've received information that the bank manager is held hostage in the vault where exactly is it find the manager's office and we'll go from there it's at the far end of the office area Why have I put my gun away? What are you doing? Your presence here is unauthorized. So is depriving thousands of people of a roof over their heads. But OCP doesn't seem to mind that. See, why are they blaming the banks? Delta City. I'm on the bank's side with this. He plans to build in place of old Detroit. <laughs> a city of the future where there is no crime or poverty. Do you believe the commercials? Yep. Yep. Uh, ooh. Ambitious plans are not a crime. I am focused on making the cities. I've got to try and please her. Because, you know, women. Um, let me just see. Now, what can I say now that isn't going to get me in tr trouble? Uh, ambitious plans are not a crime. She's not going to like that. Your judgment is clouded. She's definitely not going to like that. 
I'm focused on making the city safe. I am working on the no crime part. Then OCP may become the object of your attention soon. In order to create Delta City, so whiny. OCP must first get rid of people who live in old Detroit. Get rid of them. Now that's a topic I'd rather do a story on than you glitching. OCP offered these people investment in the project. The value of their property would cover the cost of entering the business. The later gains will far outweigh the cost, supposedly. You do not believe that. What's the problem? It's OCP. There must be a catch, and I think I found it. The documents say something about additional costs. I believe that's a loophole that OCP placed in order to scam people out of their homes. That is only suspicion. And I need time to prove that my suspicion is true. Time and some of these documents I found. If you detain me, the SWAT jerks will requisition them. Uh, see, I've, I've heard the game's got like a good ending and a bad ending. and I, I want the good ending. I just want to finish this and move on with my life. So we're going to let it go. No, but if you continue to disobey the law, you will be detained. You will be punished. Maybe I should have treated you more like a police officer than OCP's property. Yeah, you should. Anyway, the city owes Still a man. And I owe you too. Still have thoughts and feelings. Then again, Robo might be like thinking, I still could. I can see you've reached the manager's office. Great. Now look for a switch that unlocks the doors that lead to the vault. If I was a bank manager, I would probably ask for that. Now take the doors behind the desk and turn left. The way to the vault should be open now. Is he Captain Obvious? Did he say, did he just say to me, after pressing this, go through the door and take a left. The vault should be open now. What is this kid good for? Captain Obvious. I will not contribute to depriving my grateful employer of his hard-earned savings. We're opening this vault with Because he's dressed like a robot on the age, not his age. Yeah, exactly. What is this intricate device? Shut your fucking mouth! I think someone is coming. Everyone quiet. Yeah, I got him. Oh, I got him. What the fuck's going on there? I got both of you. That was, that was... Robocop, I knew our founder would send his best. We're not done yet. Oh, he's got a bomb. Becker, you're, you're still alive. He's going to die, everyone. I only played dead, so I didn't end up like you with a bomb strapped to my body. Exactly. Robocop. You have to defuse it. The explosion could cause the company enormous losses. What a sucker. I need the support of a combat engineer. I saw that Orpheus kid playing puzzle games on his brakes. Ask him for help. I'll be watching you from a safe distance. Officer Washington, I am looking at a ticking bomb. A, a bomb? Okay, uh, I'm passing you through to the bomb squad. There is no time. I will need your help to do. Oh, we're asking the kid for help. I'll do my best, but, but just give me a moment. First aid, kidnapping. You be Kaye, Are motherfucker. You looking for a bomb diffusing chapter in the police manual. Found it. Exactly, pandas. First rule: call qualified personnel. Oh no. Okay. Tell me what you see. It's the, the kids doing it. Okay. So I need to go that one there is the wire. Green, two reds, and blue. Four cables, got it. Can I just point out right now that I am colorblind? Four connectors with different voltage. What's the highest voltage? 24 volts. Let's analyze this bomb. C4 explosive and seems to be homemade. Yeah, that's what I'd expect from the street vultures. Here we go. Cables lead to the fuse. Does the fuse appear to be electronic? Affirmative. Jesus. Okay. So they used this kind of bomb before. According to the diagram, you always cut the green the wire. Start from the one with the highest voltage, then proceed down one at a time to the one with the lowest voltage. 
There are two different color 12 volt cables. Which one do I detach first? Uh, okay, maybe this isn't the time, but I'm colorblind. <laughs> we'll have to improvise. I feel this kid, man. I feel it, hey? That's the one with the highest voltage first. Uh, the, the, the abuse that that kid must suffer from the hands of people who just don't care. Absolutely. Um, start with the highest one first. So we're going to get rid of... Um, Right, I'm, I'm oh, okay. So I'm picking it off these ones. So I want the uh, highest one first. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Uh, then cut the beige wire. Shut up. Um, so we, we've undone one of these. Um, what did he say about the twelve volt? What? Right, there's one twelve volt one. Is blue. And I wasn't really listening. So I'm going to assume that this one is a bigger deal. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. And that one goes across here. It goes down here. And that one goes here. This poor bastard is sitting here. <laughs> Bomb disarmed! Look at that! It's a bit like that film. You know, in, in The Batman. It was just a minor incident. Ready to get back to I listen to you all the time. Because I need to make a withdrawal. Like now. In the Batman with, uh, what's his well, name? I should really... With, uh, with Robert Pattinson when he comes in. And he goes over there and the guy's got like a thing on him with a bomb. And, and, and Batman goes over there and basically just, you know, gets the guy killed. Could have left it to the bomb squad, but it's Robert Pattinson's Batman. He's just he's just a whiny little Batman. Batman isn't whiny. Batman isn't whiny. Check upstairs. Nonsense. This is OCP. Money comes first. Now, open the box. Where is all the money? Great. Now out of my way. Uh oh. What the hell is this? Where is all the money? Our founder has most of our capital tied up in a very ambitious and resource heavy project. <sighs> Basically, OCP are almost bankrupt. His money on Delta City. Have some respect, young man. Arnold, back with the money in the next. We'll leave it. You should be proud to work for. Are they underground? Oh, there they are. <laughs> there might be no one left to work for. <laughs> it's like he's there looking around, going, "Hmm, any clues? Big fucking hole." Ah, we finally get to use the night vision, potentially. Okay, let's get going. Can I pick that up? No. Seems to be a massive hole that a person can walk through. Uh, where, where, are my, where are my uh, where are my manners? Can uh, can uh, pandas? Can you give a shout out to Unicron? I'm oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you give like forward slash shout out Unicron? How very rude of me. Shit. Streaming, streaming etiquette. What was the point of that? OK, 
Okay, don't seem to be anyone else. What's better? What's this? Hmm. Bit too slow. I am in pursuit of the And you're not needed. I'm doing this all by myself. First place. It seems they're retreating into the whole industrial area. That must be where they've hidden their getaway vehicle. You gotta hurry. Captain Obvious, sir. something a bit more long range how come we can't pick up this bin Back. Nutty Jawa! Two raids back to back. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are we all doing? How's it going, Nutty Jawa? Like two, two, two tours coming in a row. There you go, beautiful. Here we go. Shit. He's to throw it higher. Realize I've got a key point. And we've, com we've completed one. Must be more. No, maybe it's not. Come quietly or there will be trouble. down already has he got a gatling gun up there oh they have
Do you have a rocket launcher? Is that everyone taken care of? Here we go. I am listening, creep. Robocop! Why did Wendell Antonowski send you here? This was a suicide mission. We no longer deal with that arrogant prick. We had an agreement. We held our end of it. And apparently it slipped his mind to pay us for our services. But he's hmm. slow with us. So now we're out to get what we're owed. The only thing you are owed is a prison cell. I don't think so. I'm a vulture. I need my space. I'll see you around, cop. See you later, punk. And we're back to the uh, back to the police station. I didn't save the money, did I? Glad we got Murphy on our team. I mean, when I got there, there was no money. If anything, they be, should be more concerned. Back to the back cave, indeed. What's going on, boss? I have pertinent information regarding the case. We'll get to that, Murphy. But right now, it's time for your psych evaluation. Becker will chew my ear off if I don't make sure you take part in it. So go. Why do I have to keep on having like a backstory filled out? Everyone knows. Everyone knows the deal with RoboCop. I'd like to say he's he's from, he's suffering with a a, a a massive brain injury, but his brain was literally blown out the back of his head. That's a big idea. Piece of junk taser blew the fuse when I tried to charge it. Right. So hang on. Lights out. What's this, what's this telling me to do? Oh, okay. They're all in the dark. Oh, they've, they've got rid of Ed. I'm ready for you, Robo. Yeah, yeah. Looks like OCP is really cutting costs at home. All right. Let's see what's cooking under the hood. Hey. Once I'm done, he's all yours, Doctor. What did we get here? We, we, we must have got a B. We did do some other... I thought I did some other objectives. Fuck. Fuck. C! Bullshit. Never got to see in my life. Hello, Murphy. Congratulations. Okay, can I use them now? Um, so I should start. Like I, I'm, I'm wondering what these second ones are that he move you up a level. So let's have a look here. Psychology, lower requirements for all dialogue options, enhance public trust, trust even. Empathetic processing impact lowers outcome. Oh, so they're the levels when you get to them. Right. Okay. So I get more experience points to that scanning. Let's you hit enemies behind cover by bouncing bullets off certain points. That's quite cool. Slow motion, your reflexes allow you to see your environment in slow motion for a short time. Um okay, that's not really that bothered. Vitality. Fuse boxes recovery. You can use fuse boxes to recover up to 50% of your health. So we've run across a lot of them, but I've never actually um, been able to use them. Armor reduces received damage by 80%. Combat stuns nearby enemies. For, so I quite like the idea of this. Uh, where is it? Vitality. So I'm going to get these two first. I've seen your accomplishment on TV. C for CCC. I hope that I'll manage to remain professional despite sitting opposite a celebrity. How do you feel about being acclaimed as a hero again? <sighs> Scumbags watch TV too. I would rather stay hid. 
Okay. It helps if the criminals know that they should fear me. I suppose it makes your job easier. I'm sure you'd love to share this accomplishment with Anne Lewis. You've seen her at the hospital, haven't you? How is she? She is stable. She's in a coma. You cherish that relationship, don't you? She's an important part of your life. Your past life, too. She is. Just like your family. You're very protective of your past. OCP cut me off from my family. And how do you view their decision to separate you from them? Um, it was cruel. It was cruel. To everyone involved, I'm sure. Nevertheless, you still think about them, don't you? What comes to mind when you try to remember your family? I see. Memories can be painful. I didn't press anything. Especially when they're connected to the ones you love. They tend to remind us of what we're missing. The thief that broke into my house I mentioned before. He was my brother. Dun, dun, dun. He was an addict who'd come over to steal things to sell so he could buy drugs. As you can imagine, my last memory of us together is not a happy one. But despite that, I still wouldn't want to lose it. Hold on, it didn't Ed 209 turn up and blow I've her arm off? And I've been trying to rectify it ever since. I do not remember my family. I can only feel them. These feelings, how do they manifest themselves? In horrible dreams? Um, echoes of the past? Um, I'm going to say the first echoes one. Echoes of the past. But OCP sees them as obstacles that need to be removed. And now you're afraid that they sent me here to convince you they are right? Did they? What you need to understand is that regardless of outside influences, my client's well-being takes highest priority. Especially now that I understand how important these memories are to you, I will fight for you in every way I know how. <laughs> if it's you beautiful. let me. I think this is a good place to end this session. Thank you for your honesty. It certainly has been noted. That's it. Get on with your day now. Get back to it. I've got plenty to think about for now. Okay, there's no doubt some little side missions for me to remember. You like her. Oh. Plunger's got a crush. Okay. I'm not putting you know what? It's not worth me doing these side missions. You're all ungrateful. I'm just getting I'm just doing main stuff from now on. I can take care of business. I don't need any special power-ups. I'm Flash Bowski. I can do what I want. I'll take that, though. Oh, is this a mission? Don't panic. We would like to deny any rumors that our bank is not solvent. You can rest assured we are still the best place for your savings. That's bollocks. They've got no money. I have no money! Ex ex exclamation mark! No money. Yeah, just keep following the road. But the road ends here. <laughs> what was that? Uh -oh. oh, look him. <laughs> Am I? I'm, look. I'm hearing you clearly. Oh my God, what a lemon. Taking the piss. All because you're colorblind. I have no money. All right. The situation at the bank was contained in a relatively smooth fashion. So what did we learn from it? When it's their money on the line, OCP will send RoboCop, the entire SWAT team, and a bunch of Ed 209s that actually work. Anything else? Wendell Antonowski no longer deals with the street vultures. That's right. There's been a rift in their midst, and I want to know why. Spike has proven to be talkative under suitable conditions. That's why I want you all to head to the city and do some actual police work. We need to find Spike. The attack on OCP Bank was a desperate move. I'm sure there's plenty of theories floating around. So we need to listen to what the streets are saying to find where the vultures are hiding. I know someone versed in street talk. Talk to him. And, oh, I almost forgot. Murphy, once you're downtown, the old man wants to meet with you. Oh, the old man himself? <laughs> what an honor. Yeah, he's the closest Detroit has to real-life royalty. 
Maybe for saving him all that money, he'll knight you or something. Enough. They've all got Head bad attitudes. Out, ask around, and most importantly, find Spike. All got bad attitudes. Um, no money. Um, I'm trying to remember what it's from. It's, it's, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I, but I don't remember what it's from. Um, talk to Mayor Kuzak. Um, all right, I'll talk to him. I mean, he'll probably be dead by the end of May the game. I you, Mr. Mayor? Oh, it's me who's going to do the helping. You know John Mills, I presume? The OCP puppet who's gunning for my seat as mayor? I've heard from a reliable source that he's planning to make you the highlight of his election bid. Judging by your expressive face, he hasn't talked to you about it yet, huh? That's what I figured. What a slimy bastard. Using your image to influence the good people of this city. Everyone in the East had an attitude. They certainly do in this. That's clearly something that I would never do. But you know that I've always I don't think so. what you're doing for our city, right? So the real question is, what are we going to do about it together? So now you want my help because someone's going to come and take your job away from you. <laughs> they took away my life. I will not allow OCP to take over the city. Mm, not interested in politics. Yeah, you know what? Let's get both sides. I would like to hear his arguments. Just be careful. He's a snake oil salesman that will say whatever it takes to gain your support. I need to go. Campaign season is busy, but let me leave you with one word of advice. Whatever you do, make it clear that you are not siding with meals. Several words. Sure that they'll twist your every word and use it against you. That's what OCP does. Thanks for the talk, Robocop. Say no to Delta City. Vote for the neighborhoods. Vote for Kuzak. It is meant to be the same guy. I thought he was... I thought... I thought he ended up being like a bit of a... a, a, a sleazeball. I'm not doing anything with you, Lee Sees. You can... You can get wrecked. Um, where am I going? Oh, I have to go downstairs to the car park. Robocop is getting a face-to-face -face with the old man himself? I tell him all about how the OCP is fucking us over. Would you? No, you wouldn't. You no. Wouldn't say a word if you you won't do. Mention. You won't do shit. Why? Did you meet him? You're a pussy. Last year's Thanksgiving parade. I was part of a column dedicated to protecting his dog. Hey, what? shiny. How come this is the first Got a time job I'm for hearing you. this? Officer Ramirez, the license. How are you feeling walk. after the incident Shut at the up, bank? Man. Who gives a shit? I heard that you're heading say to the city. Once you're out that's, there, that's what you need, just hard hardiness. Check one apartment for me. Life throws a bit of shit, yeah, whatever. Move on. Corporate espionage, so expect a warm welcome. Should I assume hostility from the suspect? I assume you'll find sensitive data there. Look for it thoroughly and make sure it comes straight back to my hands. Tenement across the street from the arcade, apartment 12. Now go, I've got to prepare for a meeting. Back to the arcade. If you won't take care of it, Another cop will have to. Another cop that isn't quite as resistant to deadly surprises as you are. Here we go. Look what they've done to the city. Yeah, I always, I well, you in the film, I'm sure you see the um, the sparks as they go up the ramp. Plus, there's only space for one of them, I think. Is there only space for one car? Thing is, that film is so 
Gunko. I don't think any of that was intentional. The old man is waiting for you upstairs. This entrance to the building is off limits. You think it's going to have to use the staircase. Doesn't matter. Just don't jump. Why is he all the way up here? The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. Get the fuck you out of my have some kind of defect. You'll have a fucking defect in, this, in a minute yourself, pal. I'll give you another scar to match that side. Yeah? Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him. See, that's you, Ulysses, again. They've got like, Have they had like five skins. Getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. Oh, dear. I know that feeling, mate. I know that you feeling. Exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment. Oh, backstory. What's left of it? It used to be a thriving neighborhood. Nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city. A new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I think it's a pipe dream, but... Uh, you know what? You need, you need, you need Robocop on VHS. That's what you need. You need the authentic feel. No, no one had laser disc back in the day. Videotape. Um, do not ask machines about dreams. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Behave yourselves. I agree with all city improvement plans. I'm, I'm, I'm basically I'm kiss his ass a little bit. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? I mean, would you, you'd rather be dead, really. I mean, if, if he if he had no memory at all, if he was single and had no friends or anything like that, but his entire life is just blowing people away, doesn't get any of the perks, you, you'd, you'd rather be dead. A young man trying to do an old man's voice. Why, have you seen his voice on the wiki as well? Um, it is only a burden for the criminals. I do not dwell on that. Um, see, that's that's like a proper politician's answer. None of these basically say, I hate this. I don't dwell on it is probably the closest one to it. I don't dwell on the burden. But am I, do I really want him to know how it makes me feel? I'm not sure which way to go here. That's that's like the ask kisser's answer. Allows me to excel at my work. I'm thanking him for what's happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you, old man. You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. Very humble. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? Um, two sides to a fin? No. Did it increase my performance? They're not a waste of time. I'm finding myself compelled to answer these properly. It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. 
That's part of the recovery process. You don't really Imagine recover from something like this. Experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Yeah, because then you'll you get rid of me. Understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Can you turn Lewis into Robo Lewis? Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, let's let's My sort out Lewis. Has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. You're going to have fun getting down those stairs, mate. Unless someone's just going to throw you off. Care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Can I walk off? Can I walk off? Look at all these missions. I might start to walk around the city now. Return to the streets. Uh... Ah! Fine. Holy shit! What was that? The worst nightmare. Not such a piece of junk after all. Let's get inside it. You did. You did. Look at all these side missions. Server protects everywhere. Hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. Hold on, is the one up here? Oh, is that just the game being a bit janky again? I thought it was like some cat stuck up somewhere. I was going to shoot him off. Okay, where's my car? Oh, here we go. Doesn't appear to be... CP wants to raise towers of glass and steel. Ah, go ahead. Just not where we live. You don't live anywhere, love. Here we go. The streets in the daytime. <laughs> State of these lot. Question pickles. That's our uh, that's our mission. So I think I think that's my car. This is where I was parked before in the uh, at night time. Yep. Leave the area, but we're not doing that now. Okay, this stuff. You're, you're up late. The day shift. <laughs> yeah, only only the dregs get the day shift, love. That that's why you're out here. Like no one in the right mind is doing this in the day. So, you call your mum, call your dad, apologise for whatever it is you did, and go home. Okay? Just, I'm just helping you out. Just helping you out. Morning, Squire. Is that true? Mary has to close a restaurant? I don't know. Two words. Delta City. There we go. Project Doom with Jerry Jenkins. Hi, right, Spike. Oh, it's... Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. I don't blame him for taking the drugs. If you lived around there, you'd probably take some as well. Um... 
Need an extra kick. Time to change your wares. Be careful. All habits. Uh, let's give him a nice answer. The police not made you change your ways. Need, need to, to make a tea. Don't go too far. I'll, I'll do my best. There wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Nah, tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. Okay. Um... I think we've seen the accident. Um, I could ask about Briggs. Yeah. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gale. He's got kids. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than Okay, so the bike's a wreck. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Okay. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. Always something. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <sighs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. Oh, yeah. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking Debbie for it. Debbie does, Dallas. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Go on, then. If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go. Absolute filth. Absolute filth. What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. I wonder if you go to the store, like, you know, the first store he goes to in the film and, and basically takes that guy's head off. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos or whatever. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama section. See, the, the An Angelina Johansson is... <laughs> P. Roxy. He has no idea about movies. Here we go, a video store. It's not as good as uh, Flashbusters. The best picture. I heard that, and it did. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh, that man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics, though. Can't believe Robocop's looking up videos. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Um, takes courage. Or diamonds. Are made under great pressure. It is very 80s. It's like it's 80s and then it skips forward to the future, but nothing else has moved on. That was truly inspirational. But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Okay, wrong tape. Is the tape at the back? He said it was an action film. Well. Oh, look, have you got CJ Laser? Not a horror film. A 
before it's gone this one. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of Is it the same guy who ran the arcade? I'll have a look in a minute. Get out of the trash and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Alright, righteous. Do we? Oh, oh did I not call you that anymore. Um Alex Murphy got a second chance. Yeah, there you go. Alex Murphy was given a second chance. But he... I mean, you really deserved it. Which is something I couldn't say about... Call life. me what you want, Daddy. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but... That's not the tape we're looking for. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Okay, it's not on horror. Comedy, comedy, crime, action... No matches. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? I wonder if they could get Paul Verhoeven to do a RoboCop, like, four. Like, old man RoboCop. Um, gives us hope that there is more. They give hope that there is more. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. That's why most anyway, people like them. Risking to sound like a broken record. That's not the tape we're looking for. It's like Ghostbusters 2. Everyone liked Ghostbusters the first one. It was five years later. It comes out. Everyone likes the idea of, hey, we'll meet them again. But you don't, you don't, you know, it's kind of a rehash of the first film. But then you don't like certain things. Like, why have uh, Sigourney Weaver's character, or whatever her name is, she's left him, had a, kid, had a relationship, and had a kid with someone else, which kind of indicates that they split up almost immediately after the film. And she started, you know, because she's in a relationship, a lot of traumatic things happened to her. She's become a dog. Not now, Karen. She's become a dog. And then probably, you know, had to see a therapist for that. Uh, I don't know, but maybe, maybe the, the therapist was a guy and he like, said, hey, you know, let's go out on a date. He takes advantage of her. Before you know it, she's not up with a kid. But it's but it's changed the whole dynamic of the story now. And it just added this like bit of like, is a baby. I know they were probably thinking, how do we get Sigourney Weaver back into it again? But she could have just been Venkman's partner. They could have just been together. That would have made sense. Yeah, PW should have done all. PW? Oh, Verhoeven, yes. Robocop 2, directed by the guy who did Empire Strikes Back. Should have been great. But there's not really much in RoboCop 2 that you remember. There's no, like, standout action scenes or anything like that. Almost from the very beginning, it's like, yeah, this is pretty weak. I mean, I suppose a lot of it is the surprise that's gone now. You don't see RoboCop being blown away. Um, you don't see him on the streets for the first time. Everything kind of happens already. So there's not as much of a story and stuff. It's, I suppose it's a bit like this, where it's all after the fact. Kane, Kane felt shoehorned in. Like his whole character was, yeah, I'm a drug guy. I'm on TV, you know, doing videos and stuff. I always thought Kane was shoehorned in. That he could have had someone who you know, was almost, you know, worked for OCP and was like, I, I made Ed 209. That was supposed to be my ticket to the big time, but you turned up, put everything sideways for me. Uh, and, now I've, and now I want to get rid of Robocop so, you know, my stuff can crack on. 
Because Robocop is like one. Like for all of Detroit, we've got one cop and he's supposed to be the dog's bollocks. Ed 209 is ridiculous anyway. He's massive. Imagine him walking the beat. You take up most of the street, son. Where are the pedestrians supposed to walk? Yep, I do reckon. I'm a man of conviction. No matches here. There's nothing on the horror section to look at. Oh, is there one here? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Eve's flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. See, there you go. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Bit very meta. Something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. Um. You know movies. There is value in that. Uh, there yeah. you go. Big him up. Big him up. Nothing better than a good movie. But we're still missing our tape. There, there is stuff better than a good movie. Hey, I think there I is. found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire. But here it is. <sighs> Isn't that the tape we're looking for? <clears throat> tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera. Action! Oh, I thought we were gonna kill him. Honestly, you've taken over assistance. I mean, I'm trying not to wreck the place. Yeah, no, no one wants laser discs. I the the music for non-streamer mode must be something totally different. Right, let me just check something. Um, options, audio. Let's turn this off for a minute. Well, maybe not. What hurt? Did I say something mean? First, I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. You're okay. So fast. I always like. There is pickles. Get bl Blu-ray. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Don't get me wrong. You know, people collect things and stuff like that. I've got plenty of things that I collect, so it's not like I'm I'm one to talk. Uh, let's. But now I can have four. Not me. See, I've got a load of stuff still on videotape and, and on normal DVDs. And it just gets to a point you're going, I'm not bothered. Get a get a hard drive, stick it on that. Although hard drives, I bought one the other day, 36 terabit one, 74, 750 quid. It's like, Jesus. And now I've realized I need to basically mirror stuff because I had a hard drive fail on me. And I'm like, right, I have to 
luckily I got the list of everything that was on it. It was just movies. I'm like, right, I've got to find all these again and download them all again. Hey, look, us these little people stop buying stuff that you don't want us to buy. It's like it's like for the people who all now want to have Nintendo, uh, you know, everyone wants the retro stuff. They want to buy the original stuff so the price goes through the roof. Just emulate it. I understand the... Um, I understand why people want the originals, you know, if you've got like a relationship with it, like you had a Nintendo 64 and you want to have one again. But I'm never really, I'm not really fussed about stuff like that personally. What, where am I going? Am I in the wrong spot? Expected more. No, no, I, I, I do not get bogged down in material things. The things you own end up owning you. What's his name? Shit, what was his name? Discovery of old media. Pickles. Oh, so I found it. Oh, there he is, just Pickles. Sticky pickles and sweeties. Come with a sprint. The banjo strikes back. The bad, the fat, and the dirty. Jade Street, free, free C. Okay, let's go to Jade Street, free C. Now, what happened if I didn't go in here? Would he have just run off and left me? Because this was a side mission. Didn't have to do this. Car places. Oh, hey, hang on. Oh, I looking for a, a motorbike or something. I'll come back here later. I've got to find him first. I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. This all looks... So, oh, there's a potential crime there. I could quickly finish this off, no problem. Tell him off. Let's get quickly tell him off. Smoking is dangerous, not to mention illegal. I don't give a shit about either. Um, no, you know what? If you don't give it either way, then I'm going to have to... Put, the, put my boot down. Then you must suffer the consequences. Eh, no one in this country values independent thinkers anymore. I upheld the law. I'm not going to kill them. God, you're so quick to violence. I thought all you retro streamers are all supposed to be about... Okay. Am I on the wrong side? I thought all you retro streamers are all supposed to be about, you know... Uh, growing together, follow for follow, <laughs> loving each other, no drama. That's always one for you. If someone ever says no drama, or don't want drama or anything like that, they love drama. They love drama. Oh, God. It's free C a bit. You all right, son? Does he live in the, does he live in a bit? Oh, he lives in here. Okay. I just like dislike digital people. Don't watch YouTube videos then. No more YouTube. No more Games Master. Couldn't, couldn't be more digital. Enhanced by AI. It's about as digital as it gets. Uh. You're all right. Talk. Uh, I hope not being fu not being funny, Plunger. This looks exactly like your streaming setup. Video store. 
They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. <laughs> exactly. I got the title. Quick, so quick thinking. Needed help. Quick thinking. Um, needed help. I misheard the title, so I need. Oh, 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 hang on a second. Was he setting me up? You will need more help for lying to me. I did not sign up for this. See, they're both threats. They're both threats. And this is a guy living in a, a bloody garage with the door open. He's got nothing going on in his life. So if anything, he needs a bit more of a gentle approach. You need much more help than that. We all got problems. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. The fix. Which is? All I need right now that mean? is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. It's a slippery slope, Robo. Or to leave you with money from nuke distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I mean, there's lots of ways this story can go now. Let's say I say you can keep the money. He's gonna get a fix. He might get he might get robbed. Or he might might he might have too much. And he ends up, you know, uh overdosing or something. If I take the money, though, this is a man who's desperate. Hmm. It's very hard to... Hang on a second. Are you quiet? It's very hard to think this through when someone's puking their guts up in the alleyway. And you might spend it on an overpriced hard drive. Look at that, man. It takes up about that much space, though. Like... You know, I don't have to have shelves full of stuff. I mean, if you, if, you, if we're going to do this, the physical versus the digital, you can't take it with you. Can't take it with you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You can't take it with you. Because you end up giving it to someone else. And whereas with the digital, you know, I don't necessarily have to buy the videos that I put on it. If you know what I mean? Plus, uh, you don't have... I have things like Plex. I don't know if you've got Plex and stuff like that. Going, I can just watch that now. I'll have to go through a load of rigmarole to try and thing it. You never own it. No one ever owns anything. Can't take it with you. Here's, here's, here's one I've just fought off off the top of my head. It is easier for a rich man to pass through the eye of a needle. Sorry, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the gates of the Flashcade. There you go. Um, I'm torn. I'm torn here with this one. I am torn with this one. But, you know, he seems like a good egg. There was a bit of money there. VHS is a dying place anyway. The shop will be shut up in no time at all, especially the amount of state that was in, the bodies everywhere. I Keep the money. The money with you, if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. Cold-blooded! Thanks anyway. You I'm taking in drugs. Tin man. But he what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like, what's the point? Better yourself. Better yourself. Uh, let's start on some of these then. So let's get the combat going. Okay, so this is the garage.
I love the fact that it's sending me in different directions. Question Ben or Paranoid Vagrant? Who's Ben? Is this Ben? Let's talk to Ben first. He's right in front of me. Now shoot him and take the money back. Citizen. Sorry, officer, but I got no one to help since my best mechanic got slaughtered. None of you cops did jack about it. I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down, or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new, and I don't know where I put the manual. Stand back. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I mean, really, can it be that hard? I you know how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. There you go. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? So now we're doing car repairs. Okay, well, I can't see anything in particular with the hood. I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure that you knew about that already. What? I mean, yes. I would never miss such a thing. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. I like the fact that what he's saying isn't matching the subtitles exactly. Like Peter Weller might have just went, look, I'm just going to ad-lib some of this. Um... Anything else? Or is it going to be something? Oh, so it's definitely in here still. I need to find it. Uh, not the lights. Not the battery. Hold on. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. So now that you know that that's not a thing. Must be some little... Some little dinky thing in here somewhere that I can't see. Well, caught something. I thought with all of this, like, special skills I've got now, I'd be able to see things better. Well, no, you can't move around any more than this. And uh, it's not going to be the hood; it's the engine. So there's there's no no other button that does anything. So it's in here. So you've got to play this. Keep zooming in. It'll be here somewhere. Oh, there's something up here because it's, it's made that sound a couple of times. There's something up here somewhere. Seems like it's here. And you'd think the engine, but the main engine seems fine. And maybe try night mode. So you can hear it.
this better not be a bug. Like there's like you can't see what the other cr uh, the other clue is. Hold on. Although before there was one there and it didn't come up very well to begin with. There's something over here. See if I aim over here. But here. It's over here. The front right wheel. But I can't step away from the car. Ah, okay. So it's not just... It is near the front right wheel. So it's just about here. Well, the air filter, I mean, I don't know much about cars. About three quarters of the way back on the air intake. We'll get it, we'll get it. There we go. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm guessing it's an easy fix. For you. All right. Oh, fix the fault. No, it's no, no problem, mate. It started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. Wasn't really warm and cuddly, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't. I know. He asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. You didn't say abstract bird. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. It's not an eagle, is it? Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Tattoo artist is this way. Quick ticket. Time is it?
Wait, are they still at the courthouse? It's gotten real ugly in there. Should we do a bit quick, quick a bit, quick a bit, a bit of quick killing? Uh, should we just carry on with the main, the main quest? Is some idiot confuse a courthouse with a bank? Oh, go on, let's go do it. No, I heard one of the accused decided to defend himself, but I think he took things too literally. Or do I have to talk to someone first? I'll leave it to later. There we go. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. Respect yourself, bro. Respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. So he's dressed 90s more than 80s. How about I bring out your jawline? How about I bring out your jawline? Yeah, there we go. Hey man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. No, never, never was the never was the person who was tempted to ever have one. Serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. You? Are you denying making tattoos for the street? Vultures? Have you got something in your leg or something? Did you say once? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. There's no one here. There's no one here. Okay, investigate the tattoo parlor. Let's find something illegal, shall we? What next? You're gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my biker goggles and keys. Guitar? Didn't he love the guitars? I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. It's very yeah, neat. I'm not telling you nothing, Cobb. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Ugh. I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Plate number acquired. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Who's Mr. Is Mr. Mills the mayor? He is, isn't he? Is this the right button? Can it hear me? Yes, sir. He can hear you. I'm hey, you Silver Boy, the tracker says you were near the apartment of that domestic terrorist we talked about. Your memory is probably glitchy, so I figured I'd send you a friendly reminder. Check the place out. How do you guys end these? Over and out? There's no need. Over and out. Ugh. Have I went past it? I oh, know, there it is again. Oh, so I'm looking for the motorcycle. Not it there.
Here we go. Uh, options. Steal no joy with the broadcast. Fucking OCP is good for nothing. Should be quiet, you moron. <laughs> They're working in no time, Mr. Wendell. Sir. Yes. You won't screw it up. Just stay at that face. Just like he used us. He hired us. He failed to deliver. That's what he did. Talk about a sore loser. You had your chance and you blew it. Now it's the I know the state of him. Easy enough. Now I might help you, but I might not. What is one thing that you do? The, the, the music is way too loud. Let's turn it down here. You saw it yourself. You needed us to extract brains from corpses. I'm glad I've got subtitles on. I have no idea what's going on. He's always, He's always watching. Requesting an ambulance. One unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. Turn it off. Okay, we've got over here. Yeah, this is made his bed. Ah, oh, so hang on, was this his room? What have we got here? Advanced transmission system. Computer scan required. Okay. Uh, transmission target. Old mall. Okay. Can I change map? Turn off mobile satellite to end. Right, okay. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. I'm guessing we're not getting into a, a shooting fight then. Uh, 